Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I am really, really excited. Well, I don't even know if excited is the right word. <laughs> am I excited? <laughs> We're gonna be testing out TikTok makeup hacks. If you've been around for a while now, you guys know my sort of sentiments about makeup hack videos. Majority of them that are spread around social media just don't work. They're simply just stupid, stupid videos on social media with a crazy clickbait thumbnail. That- I'm wondering if that's not what this is at all. There's none of those. It's just like, hey, like this is what I do to like help make the lipstick better. Like it's not. Like, oh. <laughs> What? Why would you tell me that we're doing makeup hacks then? So makeup hacks are just like- They're- oh, okay. Well then- <laughs> what is, Should we keep all that in then? So, makeup hacks. Don't always love them because a lot of times they're just stupid channels, but they can be great at the same time when there's just people trying to figure out how to improve their makeup routine. Let's get started! Okay, you guys, first of all, what do we think about the brand new video intro? Oh my God, I think it's so, so cute. It's not even funny. We have been wanting to change it for a really, really long time now. And I really feel like over the past, almost like several months to almost a year, we've been doing a lot more content than just makeup. We do so much vlog style content, so much cooking, so much behind the scenes stuff, which of course I want to do even more with you guys in the future. I hope you guys enjoy it. Leave me a comment down below if you do. It'll be at the beginning of all the new videos. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, so this first video comes from the user named Fairy Freak. And it says FW. What does that mean? Something warning. Oh, flash warning. Okay. What are those? Yeah, I'm gonna say. Literally the most impressive thing that I've ever seen in my entire makeup career. Okay, you know, you know what I'm noticing though? I'm gonna clock the girl over here. When she cuts like the final clip where she has the full makeup look on, looks stunning by the way. It's different eyeliner. She did not keep on the same eyeliner that she did her little one, two swipe with. Gotcha good gal. See, we're already, one video and we're already to the scamming artistry of it all. Wow, that is so cool. First of all, I feel like you have to be ambidextrous to even do that in the first place. Thinking about doing that with like my left hand, I guess I'm gonna have to try it for today's video, huh? Okay, I'm just gonna grab my mirror because I need to obviously see what I'm doing here. Oh, she closed her eyes, didn't she? That's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. Scissors for my hands. Is so ugly. <laughs> this is too hard. So this TikTok is from a user named Man Gag, and the thumbnail is a five-minute crafts video. Why she rip the brush up like that? What the? So I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble under. Ooh. Oh, I'm having a little bit of trouble understanding the point of this. So you take a foundation brush and you like rip off the bristles and then you glue in like a sponge into the. What is this called? I feel like it ends in I R T L E, like girdle. Squirtle. Squirtle. What? Feral. It's yeah. called a feral. She's getting a little haircut. Okay, how do we like this? <laughs> <laughs> This is the stupidest shit I ever saw. It just fell off. <laughs> wow, no, no way. I'm over this. Just hold your beauty blender with your hands. Okay, you guys, so the next video comes from Kylie Rianne. Let's see what she has to say. I might have found the next viral eyelash. You get five pairs for $3.59. <gasps> that is a bargain. I got the style round eyes. Are you kidding me? For five pairs? I've been wearing them nonstop and I don't know, I'm just obsessed and I wanted to tell you guys. Okay, so this is not exactly like a makeup hack, but definitely a really, really good makeup tip. And I love hearing this. A lot of times you can find really cheap like makeup accessories on websites like Amazon. Now, once again, we've done the Amazon videos. We've done like the Santi Alley videos in the past a long time ago on my channel. I would not recommend buying, you know, counterfeit or knockoff products from those type of retailers because you never know what can be inside of them. But in terms of like lashes, sponges, tools and stuff like that, I would definitely, definitely recommend trying to get the biggest bargain you 
possibly can because a lot of times brands will really, really overcharge. So we actually went ahead and ordered these lashes on Amazon. Let's go ahead and test them out. The bigger one has 20 pairs, only $8.99. 20 pairs of lashes for $9. That's so good. This is literally so crazy. Wow, these ones are like, some of these are like really pretty. <laughs> Honestly, as crazy as these are, they're way too big for my face, especially not having any makeup on, but they are really, really pretty. I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend checking out Amazon or other retailers like that for a cheap and affordable lash instead of paying $30 for the name brands. Okay, so this next video is from 96 underscore Daz, and this says, makeup inspired by random things, flowers and fairies, clocks and marble, sea slugs? Oh my God, that is absolutely stunning. Oh, that is so cool too. I love how she's doing these like head pieces, like the art to go along with each of the look. That is such a cool concept. I, I should definitely do more looks like that. When I did my mini palette campaign, the Wigs and Makeup Manager made that really beautiful like rainbow painted brush headdress for the photos and stuff. But that was the only time that I've ever done anything like that. I would love to do more stuff like this in the future. What a cool concept. I have to go follow this girl. She's incredibly talented. Des, you're it, you're a star. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so this next one comes from either Talika or Talika Corrigan MUA. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm really sorry. Let's go ahead and watch this and see what she is doing. Bring the action. When you this in the club, oh. you're gonna turn the I really don't know what I was expecting. I just assumed we were getting like a gorgeous little glam transformation. The last thing that I expected was Mr. Arthur the Aardvark. Oh wait, Aardvark or Anteater? Who is the ant? Isn't there an ant eater? But the first ever episode of Arthur was called Arthur's Nose, and the picture of it is literally Arthur with a really long nose being an ant eater. Is this a is this a Mandela effect? Somebody let us know in the comment section down below because this is driving this is gonna drive me crazy for the rest of the day. All right, you guys. So this next TikTok I am very excited by. I will admit I have already seen this on my for you page quite a few different times, but we're still going to react to it and try it out today. This video is by my good friend Michaela Nagara, but I think she actually duetted Mad Love brows as the original video poster. So quite a lot of credit to give here, but let's take a look. So this is just a brow stencil and then it's like little sponge thing. That looks amazing. In five seconds to see in the video, didn't even finish it. How cool would this be if it actually works? So this is Mad Love Brows. I ordered the brow stamp stencil kit. It comes with instructions, thank gosh. Five different brow stencils that are all a different brow shape. Okay. And then of course, the stamp. Quick brush through, doing soft brown. Guarantee I'm gonna f this up, bro. I'm not good at this shit. All right. I love her. I'm really scared to take it off. Oh, yo! That looks so good! Wow! That looks amazing. Okay, so I'm super excited to try this out today. So the original brand that sells this product, we were able to get the stencils, which is the most important part, but unfortunately the like brow stamp was on back order, which of course sucks for me, but congratulations to the small brand that's obviously doing really, really well from TikTok blowing up the product. That is super, super exciting. Okay, I think I'm gonna end up going with this particular stencil for my brow. To be honest, a lot of them are a little bit too small for how big my brows are, but that's, I'm not gonna knock the brand for that. I just have big brows, let's be real. And I guess I'm just gonna like dip my little Spongy wongy woo. Does the brand ever call their brow powder prouder? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> no, and I think I know why. Boy, if you don't get your squiggly diggly head. I'm definitely not gonna pretend like I'm so shocked that this doesn't look the best when in reality, the stencils are actually a really, really great shape for normal people's eyebrows that it's being targeted to. My problem is I have very, very thick, bushy eyebrows that are a little bit more straight than arch, which is not a typical brow shape for the market. Well, Lena has really bushy eyebrows too. <laughs> I think I'm gonna 
they that bushy? Yes. Oh, they are thin. Yeah, very thin. I love a good bushy brow. Yeah, it's a trendy. Well, I honestly feel like I can't give a fair review to this product, which sucks, but I did order it. So if you guys want to see me trying this again in like a TikTok or something in the future, once I do get the brow stamp in the mail, I can give this a second shot. Let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in because both of the people that tried it out on camera looked amazing. So I'm just going to go ahead and chalk this up to user error. Okay, you guys, so this next video was posted by Makeup by... Mm -hmm. Makeup by Maritza. So this TikTok is 2021 trends versus 2016. This is definitely triggering to see because I started getting into makeup right at the end of 2016. So I'm sure all these trends are going to be very targeted. 2021 trends versus 2016. Yellow foundation. Yep, my Correct makeup forever shade. stick in the shade Y365. I don't know and what I was thinking using more. that. Ample concealer. Yep, so much concealer. It was always so bright mm -hmm. and matte. Yep. Can't forget the eyelid. Yep. I still honestly do Purchase do that very similar concealer like concealer placement. Concealer placement and now. I definitely use less than I did. Baking. And it was always too much banana powder. Down setting powder placed where needed. Banana powder was such a huge trend in 2016, which I really don't understand how people got away with that because it made people look so much more yellow than the foundation that I was already using. Um, I definitely love to go for a more like pink under eye now just because it really brightens everything up and just looks a lot smoother. Heavy powder contour all over. Soft cream Ugh. or liquid contour where needed. Uh huh. Liquid or cream blush. You blush. Only bronzer. This is literally, that's literally me. I didn't even wear a bra blush. Hello? It is really crazy to look back and see how the makeup trends have changed so much from then to now. It used to be so full coverage, so brightened and chiseled and contoured, but also matte at the same time, but also with an insane amount of highlighter. There was just like so much product being used. It was actually insane. I mean, I still love a good full coverage, full glam look every once in a while now, but I also am obsessed with natural blush and freckles and letting the skin peek through and, you know, just like blemishes showing here and there because I think it just gives like a more natural, real appearance. Whereas we were focusing on literally creating a makeup mask for so, so, so long. So I am really, really happy at, you know, the stage that we are in as the makeup community right now, because ooh, that was questionable. All right, you guys, the last video to watch today is this one from the account Sapine Beauty. Beauty. Let's take a look. This past expo, I met the cutest couple ever. This gentleman asked me to show him how to apply lashes because his wife is losing her vision and can't do it by herself. Oh my god. He also does her makeup every day. They were both so happy. He learned so fast. That is the cutest that I've ever seen. That is so, I like actually like want to tear up a little bit. That is so cute. Get yourself a man that loves you enough to learn how to apply your makeup and lashes when you can't one day. So you still look bomb for bingo night. That is so cute. I love, that is true love. All right, you guys. Well, I think those are all of the makeup hacks and makeup videos to react to and try out in today's video. I know the intro started off on a little bit of a different note. Like I said, I was misled and was ready to do some roasting and some dragging and some yelling and getting angry and stuff. But this video actually ended up being really, really fun to film. We saw so many cute makeup looks and learned a few kind of helpful makeup techniques along the way. And I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and also let me know in the comments what your favorite makeup hack was. If if you have not already, make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell icon as well so you're notified every time I upload a brand new video. Follow me on all my social media accounts, they're just James Charles, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.